Hi, I'm Fergal Darcy. Welcome along to Monroe's Live, bringing it all back home series. Tonight, on support, we have Brad Heidi. But the main act is Roshino, a wonderful artist who's traveled all over the world. She's a member of the Black family, but she has put her own personal stamp on her music. She's released three singles already this year, including her current single, Still Gold, which is flying through the charts. This is Roshino, live at Monroe's, bringing it all back home. I've tried to sit down and write this song out Feels like a thousand times But I was always too scared of what I might find But if I keep on blocking this pain out It might be too late to heal my heart somehow times now over the years uh, years ago as Roshi know and probably the last time I was here I played it with Thanks Brother in my band so now I've gone back to Roshi know since at the start of 2020 I released my first single as Roshi know in about three or four years so it was scary but amazing and now this is my first gig back after the pandemic in Monroe's and my first gig back as Roshi Know in about four years. So yeah, it's a bit of a, an amazing day for me. I'm very excited on many levels. It feels like Roshi Know 2.0 for me, definitely. You know, when I, I, I don't know, I feel more excited about my solo career now. I'm writing songs that I'm so proud of. I'm so excited for people to hear that I just felt like I had to do it as Roshi Know. I had to release these songs as Roshi Know. And yeah, the response from people has been unbelievable and has only, you know, bolstered my ambition even more to, to do this and be a solo act. And 
I'm really excited about it and I can't can't wait to release new music and start gigging again as as everyone is I suppose but I'm just buzzing for it on many levels. If it wasn't for the lockdown I'm not sure if I would have gone back to Roshino like I was working with Hank's brother and we had American tours planned, we had festivals planned, we had Irish tours planned, like releases planned and obviously that went out the window and I think it gave us myself and John Bros in the band and me time to sort of relax and work on different projects. I started writing on my own more. John was producing other acts and it sort of just happened naturally and very amicably that we we sort of just started working on our own stuff. And and I think if it wasn't for the pandemic, we would have just been constant, constant. The Hanks brother would have kept going. So you never know what would have happened, but I felt like maybe it was meant to be because these songs that I wrote, they weren't Hanks brother songs, you know, they were Roshi No songs. So. Yeah, it definitely felt right and there was there was time there was that breath after the gigs for me to make a new plan and have nothing in front of me and just start from scratch so yeah definitely put me in this direction for sure i loved the first lockdown i have to say and it was a blessing in the styles i think but yeah i think for musicians you're, you're constantly on call you're constantly having to create content gig create new music and then all of a sudden everyone's on the same playing field no one can get a leg up here or get that gig that you didn't get everybody was done and it was a nice respite to not have to worry about being in the rat race and have that little break once we it was locked in too, you know. I think me and the whole family, we were we were big time missing gigs and missing music. So much so like in the third lockdown, we were we all, me and my parents and my brother, like we all got locked down in Dingle from January, right right like we were supposed to come home at New Year's and we just never did till like April. And uh, we obviously couldn't have any music, but we had one friend who was our neighbor who like when the restrictions eased a bit, we would have him over like every Sunday and he loved music. His name is Brendy Walsh from, from County Kerry. And uh, it was almost like we had this one person who was our audience. So we'd sit around and have sing songs and all and he would get involved as well. And we like were counting down the days for Sunday night when Brendy would come over and we could have a bit of a sing song in the house. And like, as I know some people might think we're like the Von Trapp family and we're constantly doing that, but like we would rarely do that. Like, but because there was no other outlet for it, it was like, we, we had to, we want to sit around and sing a few songs. and. Uh, yeah that was that was a lovely part of, of lockdown actually but uh yeah really made us see uh, this isn't just a job this is like you know what we're here for <laughs> Couldn't wait to find her Just a little bit of butter Featherweight on my shoulders Does she love the smell of feather Tried and light on the mountains Her soul's in flow with the rivers around It's true, her roots like the most beautiful gardens Tulips and bluebells and daffodils open Like the light of the moon and the sound of the ocean All my emotions come alive but my mom said, son, you're too young to be falling in love this time I said, I come, I feel at home in the arms of a woman tonight I won't hold back any little thing Cause I can love you till the sun goes down I got told by others who seem to think I don't know any better, but I do not to sing with me Cover me up in a blanket of roses So I know what it means What it means To be Young and in love Young and in love Young and in love For the rest of my days Young and in love Young and in love Young and in love All over again Bring me While I'm young and alone I should have waited for a while Before I let go of her Would I do just to hold you now 
Do you still wear a hairband and ask loads of questions? I never mentioned how you talk when you sleep And you keep that place in my heart wide open Forever and always I don't need assuring The smell of you stuck in my bed and my head I hope it never goes away But my mum said, son, you're too young To be falling in love this time I said I come, I feel at home in the arms of a woman tonight. Put your hands together. Come on. There we go. Will you sing this after me? There we go. Young and the love, young and the love. Young and in love for the rest of my days Young and in love, young and in love Young and in love for the rest of my days Sing it out! Young and in love Come on! Young and in love for... Here we go! Young and in love, young and in love Young and in love for all over again Bring me Down, I got to I got to work with uh, Irish Women in Harmony, which was absolutely amazing, and and it came right at a time when things were so grim, you know. And Ruth Ann, who put it all together, she she really gave us something to love, and we ended up getting a a WhatsApp group together with all the girls in it afterwards, and that WhatsApp group just kept me going for a few months. It was very funny. Anytime anyone. Uh, you know, had a grievance or something, people would get involved and people would bolster each other up. And it was, it was amazing to get that lift from different women in the industry, something that I hadn't experienced before because there's so few women in the industry. And so it, that's one of my highlights of, of <laughs> the lockdown big time was getting involved with Irish Women in Harmony and all those unbelievable women. I think I'm lucky enough, I grew up in a family where uh, women were, were very impaired and there were women <laughs> It, who are in my job that I'm in now and I think that's integral into getting women into the industry and getting them into certain jobs is to see women in those places that they can look up to and to those people those young girls who don't have that because I'm very lucky to have had women in my family who who were bosses at this job you know so uh, to them it's like it, it's harder I'd say it's harder for them I, I definitely benefited from that uh, but just to keep going and to talk to other women. I, I think there was a part of me that was like, because there was such a small amount of women in the industry that you're sort of pitted against each other, that, the, that you're there to fill this space that only, that this is the percentage of women and they're all against each other rather than being against everyone, you know, men and women. And when you stop and realize, no, I'm actually not, I'm not here competing with the women. I, they're here to help me. And when women, understand that and it, sometimes it's hard to get that out of your head that you're not competing with this girl beside you she is helping you get there and if when anyone gets that in your head you know if you can be a supporter of women uh you know it it's going to be a huge help and know that every woman is going through the same thing as you and it's it's hard but you know yeah just keep doing it because it's worth it <laughs> my next album is going to be coming out next year and I'm so excited to release this album. I haven't released an album as Roshino in nearly 10 years. That's how, how crazy, I don't know where those 10 years went, but these songs, I'm so excited for people to hear. And yeah, they'll be, be coming out in 2022. So watch this space, spring 2022, Roshino. <laughs> I heard that you've been seeing somebody. They tell me it's not new. I know that she's not new. 
I thought I would have cried more about it But I'm worried about you I heard that you've changed You don't smile the same And the next door neighbor's daughter is falling for you Lovers grow, no pain stay flow But the friends that was new you can't get through to you But I know you're still gold, I know you're still gold Just 